Hi everyone. We are back at the Passover Gourmet, the place that we used to enjoy every year at the lobby at the Suffolk YJCC. But today, this time, we are at the Slavin's home because being at the lobby at the JCC is not the right year and the right time. It's a different time. But nevertheless, we are going to celebrate the delicacies of Passover together. We are going to make matzah brai, matzah surprise, and we're going to make two different ones. We're going to make a savory one and a sweet one. This is part of the fun of using matzahs for Passover, using this square matzahs to create all kinds of delicious foods. This is the product of what our forefathers used when they got out of Egypt, the bread didn't have a chance to rise. And when they got into the desert, all they baked is nice flat rice. To make up a matzah, it takes 18 minutes from the moment the pure spring water reaches the pure flour, the Passover flour. 18 minutes to create the dough and get it into the oven. Because once it stays longer than 18 minutes, the matzah it's not kosher for Passover anymore. So let's see what we are doing. We're going to crush the matzah. We're using five matzahs. We're crushing it. One, two, three, four, five. Once we crush the matzah, this is my fifth one. We mix eggs with water. I'm using four eggs. With about three quarter cup of water. You could use milk, but we're using water today because the matzo needs to be soaked. Most Ashkenazi Jews don't eat soaked matzo for Passover. Especially not on the first night. In my home, we don't eat matzo balls on the first night because it's soaked matzo. We make special noodles. But in any case, on matzo 101, we know that we're going to have matzo brai for Passover. So I mixed my four eggs with the five matzos. I'm letting it stand for some minutes. You hearing the crunch? That's what it's all about, the crunch. I prepared one for me earlier. This one is already soaked with the egg in it. You see the consistency? So I'm going to store it with the preparation of matzah pizza surprise, or matzah surprises, they call it in my household. Taking my frying pan, which is nice and hot. I'm going to put a half of the portion of the mixture into the pan. I have hot oil in there. So you see, I'm flattening it into the pan. Just like that, and putting it back on the fire. Make sure that you're using a non-stick pan that is well oiled. Onto the flames on medium high. Get a nice crust, crust on the bottom. In the meantime, I'm going to finish crushing. Soaking the other two. I added salt and pepper into the mixture that is on the fire in the frying pan. I also added a little onion powder to it to give it a little extra flavor. Okay, let's see what's doing here. It has to be sliding around. So there are lots of different recipes to do with matzahs. 
including matzo blintzes, matzo brais with salami and eggs and onions. I have to make some fried onions for us and cheese. Ah, and sliced olives and even tomatoes. Let's see what all this is going to give us. A yummy brunch recipe. And you can shake the pan like this. If you feel that the bottom is loosened, you can add the ingredients. So I'm going to add grated cheese. Avoid the sides. I'm going to add some fried onions, yummy. Some sliced olives and parsley. And now I'm going to add the other half of the portion that we prepared. And I'm going to conceal all the ingredients that I laid on top. For all the tools in the world, the best tool is your old reliable fork. So there, I'm concealing all that we have placed inside and the surprises on the inside and I'll show you what I do next. I take any of my kitchen plates, place it on top of the pan. There we are, we have this nice brown pan. Sliding it, sliding it right back into the pan, just like this. So it can get browned on the opposite side. As the pan sizzles, and you know the bottom is right, and you know it smells so good, you try to get it out of the pan. a serving plate. There we go. We usually serve it with sliced tomatoes. Skip the ketchup part. You can garnish it with a bit of parsley. There we go. This is our Passover gourmet. This is our pots, Passover our second matzo bride. It's a sweet one. Once we finish with the savory, everyone waits around the table for a savory. Second one? No, they want a sweet one. So for this one, it's the same quantities. I crushed five matzos into my mixing pan, that mixing bowl. I mixed in four eggs and a quarter cup of water. I'm adding a little bit of vanilla. And two tablespoons of sugar. After all, it is a sweet, sweet one. In. I have a sizzling pan in the back of me. A half of the quantity.
just the blood can heal the sizzle. Let it fry. I'm going to add Philadelphia cream cheese and strawberry jam. Mmm, let's see how this will come out. So let's wait for the frying. When you see the pan sizzling on the sides all around the borders, you know it's time to add the fillings. So fill it up with Philadelphia cream cheese. And then I'm adding some strawberry jam. If your mother-in-law could be there, she would be really surprised when you make it and cut it open because she wouldn't believe that this is the classic matzo bread. This is actually a premiere. No one that I've seen had done this before. The cheese surprise is a classic in my family, but this one is a new way of celebrating Pesach. This must be what is the difference this year. Now I'm covering it with the rest of the mixture, the rest of the matzo mixture. Covering it nicely and neatly with my fork. Turning it to the fire to do some more browning on the sides. My mother, whenever she makes this matzo bread, she always says, that I put a little oil on the side, so the side will get brown as well. So there we go. Back onto the flames. Medium high to continue the frying. See it's moving in my pan. That's a good way to check it. Uh, you actually don't want it to be sticking. So moving it is really terrific. It's still moving. Disconnecting it from the sides. Super. And it's time to flip it over. Taking my dish. to the pan, sliding it in very carefully and slowly. The trick with it is when you return it back to the fire, back to the flames, you have to add a little oil on the sides so it won't stick. Here we go. Going to add a little oil, just a drop. Of course, you have Passover ingredients and everyday ingredients. But since it's not Pesach yet, I'm using both of the ingredients at the same time. These are not my Pesach dishes because I didn't bring them out yet. So let's wait for this to heat up. Let's see how delicious this Philadelphia cream cheese sliced with strawberries and strawberry jam will be for us. It should be amazingly delicious. Remember, I put a little sugar and vanilla to enhance the flavors. Let's see how it's cooking. There we go. Our sweet matzo bread is all ready. I'm going to pull it into a serving plate. oozing with goodness. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. I'm going to cut it and let's see how yummy 
it is on the inside. Whoopsie. Oh, the crumbs are yummy. Look at this. You can see the steam coming out. Is that the cream cheese? Mm, yummy. Got the cream cheese and the jam, the strawberry jam, deliciously awaiting for you. Are you ready to take a bite, Bud Sheva? Then you deserve it. Mmm. Yummy. This is delicious. We have two matzo brides. We've got the pizza. Matzo bread, matzo surprise, and we have a delicious, sweet matzo bread. I think the family and the children will utterly enjoy it. And most of all, I think you will enjoy it. You will enjoy making it and sharing it with the family that is at home. These are different times. These are different matzo brides. Savory one and a sweet one. Have a sweet Passover. Take care. Till the next time.